In this example, we're told to draw a position versus time graph for an object that moves at 4 meters per second for 2 seconds and then stops. So this is going to be time down here. We'll put that in seconds. And notice our units here are meters per second. So our position up here, we'll call it x. That will be in meters. And let's put some numbers. We'll put 0, 0 here on our time axis, and 1, 2, 3. And then we need to go up at least to 8 meters. So I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go up to 8 meters right there. Now it moves at 4 meters per second. So you should see that in one second it goes 4 meters. So after one second it's gone up 4 meters. So it'll be at this position right here. That's it. Time is 1. It's moved 4 meters. After 2 seconds it will have moved 8 meters. So that's a point on our graph. And 0, 0 of course is a point because we, we imagine it starting at time 0 at position 0. So if it's moving at a steady speed for those two seconds, the graph will be a straight line right there. And then if it stops, the graph levels off. This means that as time continues, the position stays right at 8. Its position is not changing as time continues. Now, just one thing so you'll know, this isn't entirely, entirely realistic right at this point. In reality, nothing stops that abruptly. In reality, the graph would have to go up and then there'd be a little bit of a curve right there representing the slowing down. Nothing can can be moving and come to a stop in no time at all. So the graph is the graphs in real in the real world there's never these sharp corners like that. So if you want to smooth out the corner there a little bit that's fine. But this graph is sufficient to answer the question. Draw a graph for an object that moves at 4 meters per second for 2 seconds and then stops.